Wow, this was just so bad. In this experiment, I have recreated some of the geologic features that are present in the Los Angeles area. We have the San Andreas Fault right here, the San Jacinto Fault, and the Puente Hills Fault. As you can see, on top of the San Andreas Fault, I have added this little rock so that it adds more weight to it. We all know that the San Andreas Fault is the largest fault in this area, and usually it takes more time for it to produce an earthquake. We all know that these fault lines are relatively connected to each other, and in order to recreate that effect, I have connected them with rubber bands. These are able to store tension between them. So let's see what happens when I start adding tension to the San Andreas Fault. I'm going to take this rubber band over here and I'm going to pull it towards me very, very slowly. Let's see what happens. As you can see, that just there, that was an earthquake. As you can see, the other faults are still unmoved. But what happened over here was that the tension increased. So if in the future the San Andreas produces another earthquake, that fault might move as well. Let's see what happens next. That was a small quake. Oh, that was larger. And as you can see, the San Jacinto Fault also moved. So this is actually very interesting to notice. If the San Andreas Fault ruptures and produces a big earthquake in the near future, there's a very high likelihood that another fault along it could break. In this case, it could be San Jacinto Fault. I'm going to add more pressure to the San Andreas Fault and let's see what happens next. This time we can notice that only the San Andreas fault and nothing else moved. But let's wait a little longer and see what happens if I continue to add more pressure to the San Andreas fault. Well, that went really bad. <laughs> but I think there's a very good point in this. I think that once in a while, every thousand years or so, there is so much pressure stored along the San Andreas Fault that once it ruptures, once it produces a big earthquake, other fault lines could rupture as well, producing other big earthquakes. And obviously this has major implications because there are so many people living in this area. Unfortunately, we don't have enough historical data that would tell us that events like this could happen. But technically it is possible. For example, the earthquake that struck the LA area in 1680, that is so long ago and scientists are not exactly sure what happened. They know that a quake happened, but they don't know if the whole portion of the fault ruptured. It might as well be that there were two big earthquakes, 7.5, and so one portion of the fault ruptured and then the next portion of the fault ruptured as well. And so we don't know for sure if other major fault lines ruptured at the same time or relatively soon afterwards. But then there are so many faults in California that it is impossible to know exactly what's under your feet. The next major San Andreas earthquake will be a total disaster. If you happen to live in California, there's many proactive measures you can take right now to reduce the risk and the negative consequences associated with an earthquake. Thanks for watching once again. Take care and stay safe. Make sure you get home in one piece.